Uh, hello, this is uh, Basics uh, Part 2. We're using our training chart, 18465TR. This is a uh, chart frozen in time. And in this section, I cover just three things. Um, let's see, chart scales, uh, zooming and panning, and the help file. So let's look at just moving around in the chart. First of all, I'm using the mouse key to go in and out. That's, uh, that's just, I'm rolling a mouse bar that goes in and out like that. You can do plus, 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 minus, minus, minus on the keys. That also zooms in and out. You can also um, use the, uh, well, actually, let's, let me diverge a minute. I'm going to do help. There's, let's say I remember, in fact, I'm on a, I don't know if I'm a Mac or PC here. I think I'm on the Mac. And then uh, I know this is plus, plus, minus, minus. I know that there's another key combination that will let me do it in smaller steps. See, if you look at the scale down here in the bottom is the scale down here in the bottom. And you can see the scale changing as I go plus, plus, minus, minus, minus. But there is a key. Uh, so I want to look it up. I want to look up what key do I press to make that go smaller. Here is the help file. So this will bring up an interesting point. So here is the help file. And then here is a charts. Uh, where there's charts in here. So, and there's a section on charts and formatting and vector display and, and so forth. But here's the, here's the trick on that. And these are all in your computer, so they're going with you when you go to C and so forth. But these are all different. Look at this. This is this file here. Then you click this one. This is this file here. So these are actually spread over a, a handful of HTML files. And it's, it's kind of tricky to search that whole set at once. So it's a little bit hard in this case to search this. Now, I want to show you a trick while you're online that you can search it. And then we're in the process of making a PDF of this help file, which we'll post for the public very shortly. And then that you can search, and it's organized uh, like this and so forth. But for now, let's do this. We're in a browser here. We're in a browser here already. So let's go to Google and then just say, uh, quote, chart scale, let's see, uh, chart scale. That's what we're searching for. Then you do a colon, and then you look at opencpn.org. So that tells Google, go to this website and look everywhere for that phrase. And let's see what happens when we do that. And you see there it's found all the references in on that website that talks about that. And this is a management chart, chart scales right here. You see that's where it found it. So if we go here, charts, um, is there a chart scale? No, let me go back. Zooming, ah, that, that, that sounds good. Yeah, see, there you go, zooming. Now, here's the zooming section, and okay, there it is, Alt, Alt key. Now, I'm on a Mac, that's probably the option. But anyway, the point is, I just wanted to show you that trick for searching until until we get that PDF out to the public. Um, that's a way to search the data, search the uh, manual, help manual. And there's probably other ways I don't know about. People remind me that I don't know, uh, don't obviously don't know all the ways to use the program. Um, but so now, you see, so here we go, plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. Now, command, no, alt. Minus, minus, minus. So let's look down here and see the scale. And you see uh, minus, minus, minus. See, those are smaller steps. And then uh, if I take the finger off, those are bigger steps. Plus, plus, smaller steps. Big, big, big. OK, so that's the Alt key, or the Option key on a Mac. And it'd be the Alt key probably on a, on a PC. The other thing. This is a, a guide. It's, it's not exactly necessarily, it's not intended to be spot on on every single display, but it's a guide. This is an ECTA, so um, an ECTA standard to show this kind of tool, this uh, distance bar here. And this one is 10 miles, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And we can see that. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, zoom in. And then I'll just move this around, and you say this goes here, 
uh, zero down at the bottom here zero up to ten well almost ten different scales it'll be right on and others it's not exactly intended to be uh, to be precise it's your guide it's your guide so each of these is two miles then as you zoom way in that's going to switch to this orange again that's all pure ectus uh, um, type approved ectus standard so this is now one mile and if you go over here to the scale you see that'll be pretty close to one mile and then you can always remember the M key M key I did that before you click here and then go up to here that's one mile right like that so you can check it that way okay so that's these these real handy scale bars that and this is you know when you're out in the universe now we have a bad base map here but you see these scales are always there to keep you in mind of what distances are around so they're pretty handy so the other thing so we I'm left click and drag you can go up and now I'm using the up care up arrows to go up like that or, or down okay so you can do two things you can tap it or you can hold it that's a down arrow left arrow tap 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 or push it down and hold it and it accelerates it's got an acceleration function there so that works really nicely and then here if I right click now the right click is mostly for navigation or we're going to be using this one a lot in the course for doing our practice problem drop a mark here so it drops a mark there and then we can later go in and get the properties and then we put lat lawn on it and move it exactly where we want it so that's uh, that's a nice feature uh, we'll come back to that but then look here's a, I just wanted to show you this right click and there's your M key right there so if you're not using a keyboard you can then just uh, get your get this important function that way measure uh, that way thing thing then you have to if you're not having it if you don't have an escape key then you have to go measure off that way so that's uh, that's pretty handy so we looked at the ways to do the help these uh, zooming the bars and then here's the scale and I think we'll come back more and, uh, but the scale is written down here this is a 1 to 80,000 chart which you read from here um, and our trick that we teach in the classroom is you can uh, take away the last four zeros yeah 1 to 80,000 take away the last four zeros that's an 8 so that's the number of miles per hand span on the chart with, assuming a hand span is about 8 inches turns out this is you know okay one to eight let me back up one to eighty thousand means that one inch on the chart one inch on this chart physical inch with a ruler is equal on a paper chart let's be careful one inch on a paper chart is eighty thousand inches on this chart now i think it turns out that uh eighty thousand inches might be about a mile but but here's our rule of thumb you take here one to eighty thousand take away the last four and that's a uh, eight that's a number of miles per hand span assuming a hand spans about eight inches so if you had one to twenty four thousand twenty four thousand you take away that twenty four so one hand span twenty four miles one to ten thousand it's uh, one mile so forth um, let's see 10,000 yeah uh, so that's that all I want to say for now uh, the chart scales the uh, the help file a trick to getting the help file you got this one always here and generally you probably can find what you want this way okay by just surfing around here but it's just a little hard to search and then you go online to search the uh, main database that's it